Hello, I'm Takehiko Sasaki. I'm Shimorioka. Today, we are going to talk about our study on lipid metabolites. Molecules that shape organisms and support their activities can be classified into multiple layers, and metabolites are in a position that directly controls the state of an organism. They fluctuate in our bodies due to the effects of gene expressions, diets, drugs, and symbiotic bacteria. Our research has been focusing on lipid metabolites, especially those called phosphoenostate, a family of phospholipids. Phosphoenostate makes up only a tiny fraction of cell membrane phospholipids, yet they control almost all aspects of cell life and death. There are hundreds of phosphoenostate variants in our bodies that differ in their phosphorylation pattern and fatty acid composition. The metabolic turnover of such variants is constantly ongoing within the cells, influenced by various factors including hormones, growth factors, cytokines, chemokines, environmental stressors, trophic conditions, viral and bacterial infections, and also by genetic factors. As expected from such malfeasted regulations, disturbance of the phosphoenostate metabolism involves many diseases, ranging from rare genetic disorders to more common ones such as cancers, neuronal diseases, and immune diseases. We and others found that gene-targeted mouse strains lacking phosphoenostate metabolizing enzymes exhibit various disease phenotypes. Indeed, DNA sequencing identified alterations in genes encoding the enzymes in affected humans. However, how these lipids are changed under disease conditions is not understood or even yet studied. This is because the current method for phosphoenocyte measurement requires radioactive tracers and cannot be applied to animal samples or provide information on the phosphorylation pattern and fatty acid composition. What has long been awaited is a method that allows the study of the diverse variants presented in various types of biological samples, including surgical specimens and liquid samples from patients. We then developed a new method, palm seams, that stands for host inositide radio isomer measurement by chiral column chromatography and mass spectrometry. Palm seams enables a comprehensive and simultaneous analysis of about 200 variants in various biological samples. Under this new method, we identified phosphoenostide variants accumulated in mouse prostate cancer tissues. In addition, we revealed a dramatic skewing in the variant composition, such that the upregulated variants contain shorter fatty acid with fewer double bonds. More recently, we have found similar distortions of the variant composition in cancer cases in humans, which are associated with the prognosis of the patients. Another new finding obtained by palm seams is the identification of the extracellular host inositides. Cells expressing the oncogenic PIK3CA mutants secrete several host inositides variants. Extracellular host inositides are secreted, at least in part in the home of the exosomes, indicated that cells actively mobilize host inositides in the cancer microenvironment, which may in turn act on neighboring cells. The configuration of phosphoenostide variants, in other words, the phosphoenostide profile, consolidates, encapsulates, and they mediate the information of various etiologies leading to disease onset and progression. Therefore, we expect it to be a new molecular signature for pathological states of diseases. The use of palm seams to evaluate such signatures in tissue and liquid biopsy samples in a particular disease context, which is ongoing in our lab collaborating with clinicians, may reveal new biomarkers suitable for clinical applications. 
Furthermore, such applications may culminate in the development of therapeutic agents that pinpoint a specific pathogenic phosphoenocyte variant. We are aiming at transferring the palm seams technique from bench to bedside which may also give us a deeper understanding of signaling governed by phosphoenostase. Thank you for watching.